Hello, Mary. Okay, Mary, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Where are you? In my uh, parents' room. Oh, you're using a different computer. Mm, yes. Okay, I can see it because your camera is different. Is that your computer that you're using right now? Yes. Okay, very good. All right, so how was your day today, Mary? I'm learning and do homework. All right, so you learned and did your homework for today. Okay. Anyway, for tonight, Mary, I will be giving you your first test in flyers level. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's begin, Mary. All right, so here, Mary, this is your flyer test number one. All right, so the first, oh, wait a minute, Mary, I will just prepare my notebook. Okay, wait a minute. So we are now in, wait a minute, Mary, uh, test number one in flyers. Today is December 6, 2021. All right, Mary, so let's begin. This is task number one, listening activity. All right, now, Mary, in task number one or task number one instead, I have um, all you have to do is to listen and draw lines and there is one example, okay? So just like our activities, you just have to listen and draw some lines. Let's begin, Mary. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a busy street, isn't it, Aunt Emma? Yes. This is the village where I live. Can you see the woman who's wearing that long scarf? The one who's walking with her dog? Yes. Do you know her? Yes, I do. That's Vicky. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Can you see the woman who's selling flowers? Oh, yes. She's standing under a big umbrella. She's my friend. What's her name? It's Katie. And across the road, I can see her husband. The man with the striped T-shirt? Yes, that's him. He's got a big shopping bag. Is he going to the supermarket? I think so. His name's David. He's very friendly. Can you see the man who's reading the newspaper? Oh, yes. The one who's waiting at the bus stop. Is he a businessman? Yes, that's Richard. He lives near me. And who's that man? That man who's washing his car? Sorry, I don't know him. No, the other man. The one with the suitcases. Oh, that man on the bridge? That's Paul. Is he going on holiday? Yes, I think so. And 
Do you see the woman with the red sweater? Yes. She's standing at the corner of the street. No, not her. The one who's washing the windows. Oh, yes. Do you know her too, Aunt Emma? Yes. Her name's Claire. She comes and cleans mine too. She works really hard. She's amazing. Now listen to part one again. Okay, are you done, Mary? Can you... Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, now let's proceed to part number two, Mary. Okay, so in part number two, listen and drive. There is one example. So all you have to do here, Mary, is to listen to the recording and then write the missing information on the blanks. Okay, so this is about the airport. Okay, let's begin once again. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Grandpa. I'd like to ask you some questions about the airport where you work. Okay, that's fine, Sarah. Is this for your homework? Yes. So where is it? It's in the north of the city. Wait a minute. I need a pencil. Okay, I'll write it down. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Now, what's the name of the airport? Well, it's called Cleden Airport. How do you spell that? C-L-E-D-O-N? That's right. How many planes arrive there every day? Is it more than 200? Oh, yes. I read that it's 320. Wow. Yes. Lots of interesting people from other countries arrive at this airport. So, have you seen any famous pop stars? No, but I often see film stars. They come here to make movies. Great. And where can you eat there? Well, there's a very nice cafe. The pancakes there are brilliant. Cool. I love those. And is there a hotel where people can stay at the airport? Yes, there's a very big one. It's got lots of flags outside. That's interesting. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I've got enough to write about now. Now listen to part two again. Now, what's the name of the airport? Well, it's called Cleden Airport. How do you spell that? C-L-E-D-O-N? That's right. How many planes arrive there every day? Is it more than 200? Oh, yes. I read that it's 320. Wow. Yes. Lots of interesting people from other countries arrive at this airport. So, have you seen any famous pop stars? No, but I often see film stars. They come here to make movies. Great. And where can you eat there? Well, there's a very nice cafe. The pancakes there are brilliant. Cool. I love those. And is there a hotel where people can stay at the airport? Yes, there's a very big one. It's got lots of flags outside. That's interesting. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I've got enough to write about now. That oh. is the end of part two. All right, Mary, so you have no answer in number four. You want to listen one more time? Yep, Faster. Oh, yeah, I can see it that it's the audio is very fast. Anyway, yeah, uh, you can listen to it one more time. 
Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Grandpa. I'd like to ask you some questions about the airport where you work. Okay. That's fine, Sarah. Is this for your homework? Yes. So where is it? It's in the north of the city. Wait a minute. I need a pencil. Okay, I'll write it down. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Now, what's the name of the airport? Well, it's called Cleden Airport. How do you spell that? C L E D O N? That's right. How many planes arrive there every day? Is it more than 200? Oh, yes. I read that it's 320. Wow. Yes. Lots of interesting people from other countries arrive at this airport. So, have you seen any famous pop stars? No, but I often see film stars. They come here to make movies. Great. And where can you eat there? Well, there's a very nice cafe. The pancakes there are brilliant. Cool. I love those. And is there a hotel where people can stay at the airport? Yes, there's a very big one. It's got lots of flags outside. That's interesting. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I've got enough to write about now. All right. Don't stand. Pancake. Yeah, that's correct. Pancake. Yes, but I don't know how to write it. Ah, okay. So you don't know how to write it? Well, teacher will help you spell pancake. Okay, pancake is P A N. Finish? P A N C A K E, like cake. Okay. All right. So now let's proceed to reading and writing part of your test. So this is task number three. Read a story and choose a word from the box. Write the correct word next to numbers one to five. There is one example. Okay, so Mary, you can answer it first before you read it. All right.
All right. So, well, I can see that you have all the answers already. Okay, now can you read what's your answer, Mary? Okay. and Fred want to stay with their cousin <laughs> David. What are you eating? An island. <laughs> they want to see the whales with which visit they just once a year on the second day. David that took the children down to the beach to look for whales. The children were very ex excited. They wait for a long time, but no whales come. When the weather got green, so they went home. They did this for three days. But they didn't see any whales on the fifth day. They tired again. They sat on some rocks in the sun. It is safe. It doesn't matter if we don't see any whales because I'm so happy. When Katie starts, then Katie starts singing after a few minutes. To rebel wells up here. That is the sound. Look, they hear your sing and they are coming to listen. I don't believe it. The animals come very near to them. But when Katie stops singing, they swim away again. Well, the children wave goodbye. All right. So next one, Mary, what do you think is the best name for that story? Mm. It's the day the wells are rebuilt. Again, the day the whales arrive. Is that your answer? Yes. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Now let's proceed, Mary, to um, task number four. So you have to read a letter and write the missing words. Write one word on each Line, okay. So now, Mary, you have to read the letter and then you have to think of the missing words that you must put in the lines or in the blanks.
here with the wife. Last Sunday, I was walking in the forest with my dog when she found a box in the ground. It was difficult, but I opened the box. I saw a letter inside, so I got the letter out and read it carefully. When I looked at the address in it, I couldn't believe your home is so far away. And you hit the box in the forest 30 years ago. I am very happy that I have found a new friend in another city. This right can answer me about your family and your country, then you. Okay. Wait a minute, Mary. So I have to copy your answers. Read at a go is and answer. Okay. So now, Mary, we are here in speaking activity. All right. So task number five, Mary. Look at the pictures and describe the several differences. Okay, that's all. All right. Okay, now, Mary, so let's have task number six. Continue the story. Okay, so this is uh, the start of the story. It's picture one, okay? It's Betty's birthday today. Her mother's making a cake. 
Beth is getting some sugar for the cake. She has to stand on a chair. Okay, now continue the story in number two. Okay, can you see the picture? Yeah, maybe it's still loading. Can you see it now? No. All right. Okay, can you see it now or not yet? Is it okay now? Oh, not yet. Okay, let's wait for it. Can you see it now? All right. So now, can you continue the story in number two picture? Thank <laughs> you. 
she is. The goal is to show him the seeds that show on the ground, on the floor. She has, she is. Okay, continue. Um, let's see if I can join Again, Mary, because your audio is like a robot. What what did you say again? Okay. All right. So picture number three. Okay. Can you see it now? Oh, yeah. Maybe uh, it's still loading. 